Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires Definitive Edition. We're returning in this episode to the Voices of Babylon campaign and specifically the Tigris Valley scenario where we need to capture these artifacts and bring them back to our marked area. So in the last episode we kind of established a base here. We started doing a lot of the researches and now it's just a matter of finishing those researches and building up an army and attacking the the enemies here. Uh, we did establish this sort of perimeter here along the water. Um, and now it's just a matter of finishing the research that we want and getting out and claiming back those artifacts. We do know there is one artifact here on this island full of uh, Ebla Raiders. Um, which are all clubmen, I believe. But I don't know where the other artifact is. I suspect it's here on the island with the brown team because they are walled in. But it could very easily be here on the island with the yellow team. Or the Mari Raiders. So we're going to go and get the red one first. And I also want to go to this island and see what's here. I suspect it's just gold and wood and maybe a little bit of stone or something. But we'll eventually need some of that anyway. Uh, we did do a lot of harvesting here but we could use some more of course i'm going to continue these researches and then we'll get we'll get on the road here we do have a bunch a bunch of uh work alleys and we're actually pretty close to maxing out the amount of population we can have so i'm gonna look forward to uh thinning the herd a little bit before we can actually attack And you guys are getting shot at here. Let's, mo let's move them all out so they can attack this boat before it lands. Because they're not smart enough to sneak around me. And they also can't hit Broads out of a barn. There we go. Excellent. So I think the only research we have really left to do is these couple... Probably even just that one... Uh, at Yes, one of these here which we don't quite have the food for yet. So the stone miners are done here, but I'm going to move them over here where they can continue mining stone from these last two uh, uh, resource piles here, stone piles here. We'll probably thin the herd a little bit on the wood harvesters and probably also on the food harvesters. I only have two villagers each on gold and stone, so can't really get any thinner than that. Okay, good. They each went to one. That's how I like it. They're still just shooting at our merchant ships. So I think that's the last of those resources. We can only fit five military on each of these ships. So we need a few of them, which means we're definitely going to have to reduce our number of villagers. Let's turn off the auto uh, reseed on the farms so that we can cut the farms down when it's time. We do have a small army. We have four short swordsmen, four bowmen, scouts, that doesn't really count. But I would like to get um, some of the camel riders, I think. And not enough food for the last one that I wanted. Um, do we build? I don't think we built a siege workshop. I don't think, nope, we didn't. So let's build a siege workshop. We're going to need it if we have to break into that uh, brown team island, the uh, Elam Raiders. Okay. Why are you guys walking all the way around the, the forest? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, let's actually kill the transport ship first. Because it's going to have soldiers on it that are going to attack our island if we let it. to the side a little bit. 
One more camel rider. And a couple of these. I think we'll probably just delete this villager. Do I want an academy? I... I don't know. I, I don't really find the academy units all that useful in the Bronze Age. I think they become more useful in the Iron Age when you can upgrade them a little bit. So I think I'll pass on those. What I might want is a priest. But probably not to attack the red team. I think we're okay without that for them. Let's see where we get to with the military here. And you can build one more tower on this corner. Just to solidify our, circ our uh, ring wall here of towers. That'll work good. Oh, there's gold on this island, too. That's good, too. No free villagers. Okay, we're doing pretty well. I don't think I will take the stone throwers on the boats to start with. Because we kind of don't need them to start with. These guys. I think I'll just take maybe a, maybe a couple priests. Couldn't hurt. Let's load these guys up on some ships, and we'll go attack the red team. Anyone lo actually load on this ship? No, they did not. Okay, you're loaded. You're loaded, and you're loaded. Good. Take them over here. Oh boy. They're gonna disembark here if you're not careful. And we're not careful. Hopefully they'll, they'll be dumb and start attacking the um, towers. Looks like that's gonna be the case. Good. That is the case. Okay. We have three ships full of a small amount of units. We all we really need. Let's just attack these club men. Should go fairly well. Okay. Camel riders. Move forward. And there's more club men. And we defeated the red team. Excellent. Okay, let's go claim this artifact. There we go. Artifact, go to the boat. Along with people, go to the boat. I just heard one of the farms finish. Load the archers there. We can load these guys here and those guys there. And then we'll load the artifact onto one of the other one of the boats with one of the infantry type units. Okay, farms are ending. So let's delete a couple of farmers here. And I will renew this guy's field. Did I delete too many? No, I didn't. Here's one right here. These guys will be done very shortly, and they'll move into the square, the fields that are on a square to the thing. Okay. Bring you guys back over here. Unload. Probably unload everyone just so we can get the priests to heal them up. And make a couple more catapults. Oh, I should have taken the 
Yeah, should take these guys over here. See what we can find on this island. Okay, and the artifact can come in here. Priest, do your healing. Stone miners, I'll just kill them for now. If we end up needing more, we can do that later. I'll delete a couple of these wood harvesters. There are four of them here. I think there's one over here. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take him out. Farm. Farm. And we have a bit more military we can use. Go ahead and bring these guys into the island. And there's not really anywhere we can go. Excellent. So as I suspected, there's not much of any stone left on the map. So now the question is which civilization to, or which faction to pick on next. I think the faction that makes the most sense is the brown one. And by sense, I mean most likely to be the one we need to actually attack anyway. That's almost done. Do I want to make any more units? Probably wouldn't be a bad thing. We have a few more. We can... Um, we have broad swordsmen. Yes. I think it might make sense to do some composite bowmen. And... Some... Chariots. You guys are number four. Four. We might need another ship. Or might need to at least split the forces here a little bit. Okay, so you are cavalry type units, which means we're not going to be able to fit you on the rest of you in here. We pop these guys out. No, maybe not. I, I'm hesitant to make any more ships, though, because we're going to actually run out of population. I think we can do one more ship with the population we have. Uh, they do keep destroying our, our uh, galleys occasionally. Oh, we can delete this guy. Now we can make another boat. I think I will unload these guys briefly, and these guys briefly. Move you guys out of the way, you guys with them. Um, let's get the priests to heal those guys. A few more of these made. I think that's all the upgrades we had to do, so we'll call that good. One, two, three, one, two... Okay, gold miners. I think I'll delete both of them as well for now. Just so we don't have to worry about it. I might need another boat anyway. I think I'll put the priests on here. With what's left of these guys. Okay, you're full, you're full. And one more chariot. Do we need one more? We got one more. Actually, we probably need one more than that even, which we have capacity for, so let's go ahead and get that. We need two boats for the chariots. Oh, we have two boats. Cancel. I was just being dumb. 
All right, there we go. So we are ready to go. Um, I think I decided on the brown island. Now, where's the best beachhead? Well, they did. All right, all right, all right. They did have a dock. We knew that. Okay. I think we'll go here. Or maybe down here. Problem is. Problem is they do have a navy. So we don't want to go too deep into this sort of river because of whatever navy they have is going to start shooting at us as soon as we get there. And as well as this watchtower. So I'm leaning towards this area here, but I got to be really careful with this. Because I want to make sure that I unload the ships correctly. These are all the chariots. I think those would be a good first unload. Get them unloaded. And then where's my... These ones would be the next good unload. And then these ones. Alright, so you guys can move out into there. These didn't unload for some reason. Get these unloaded. There we go. Okay, now we just need to kill a bunch of villagers. I think it's time to unload more boats. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Unload. I think this is a good candidate. But I don't think I want one cavalry unit. Bring the priests in. They can maybe do some healing. There's the other artifact. That was a good guess. And it was truly a guess. Yes, I have played this campaign before, but it was truly a guess. So we really don't care what happens from this point as long as we get this artifact loaded on a boat and back to the home. Uh, winning is, is getting the artifacts back, not anything else. So the, the military win is not necessary, so I'll just let them attack whatever they want to attack here. And lay waste to everything that they feel like laying waste to. up here. What is that? Why do they have... That effect might have been there at some point. Oh, no, you don't. Let's get you guys to shoot at this thing. And we didn't need it. Awesome. So that is the... The great King Hammurabi has died. Oh, wait. During his lifetime, you managed to prevent raids and invasions into the Babylonian heartland, ensuring Babylon's continued success. But with Hammurabi's death, the Babylonian Empire has gradually started to decline. Only time will tell when we will have another great king such as Hammurabi to once again make Babylonia a great power. Alrighty. Disaster has struck. A Hittite army has marched down the shore of the Euphrates River and sacked Babylon. 
Although your party is isolated among enemies in the marshlands, this is our only hope for exacting vengeance on the raiders. A Hittite force remains in the area, trying to gather more loot. Clear your enemies from the marshlands and burn the Hittite encampment to the ground. So this is the third scenario, called Vengeance. And I think we'll get started, start establishing a little bit of a base, and then uh, we'll, we'll move on to, the, we'll save the rest for the next episode. But so for this mission, we need to destroy the Hittite army, which is brown, and take back the ruined city of Babylon, which is ruins. Um, many resources across the river, but of course there are pillagers, navy, uh, several of soldiers have fled. They will join you, provided you can locate them. Okay, that's handy. And then the history here. About what's going on in the region at the time. All right, so let's get started on vengeance. Pilare. So we'll just go ahead and build our town center. Umbis. As good a place as any. And this is nothing we can do anything about. Because, well, yeah, we can't. So we need to we need to take back this city in the end by defeating the uh, brown and yellow teams. Alright, you got three on food, one on wood. Let's take one of the food uh, guys and make some houses, I think. Ombis. 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 Build a few houses, and then we can get some, some more, some more uh, villagers made. So we're starting out in the Bronze Age. And we needed that house just to get a square. Because we started out with eight units. Do a second woodcutter, and then we can make a couple of um, forgers. Okay, my builder can come down here now. Um, let's establish our navy, I think, first. And there goes the death of Babylon. Another forge over there. You can come over here. Also establish one of these here for both the gold and these trees. And I want him to start working on gold first. And he can join on the gold, I think. I think that would be wise. Felt like it was going faster than it did. <laughs> there you go. I want you to build a stable. We had enough wood. Maybe you'll just go and chop down some trees then to start with. And we'll get some more villagers going. 
I want to get a scout and start scouting around. Let's, um... Oof. We are hurting for wood. Let's get one scout ship just so we have some sea-wise defense here. Problem is that now impacted my ability to harvest wood, or my ability to make any buildings because of my har my wood harvesting. Um, let's get some more wood harvesters for now, and then we can switch to more food harvesters later. A little light scouting. I don't want to nope. venture too far because I don't want to attract the ire of anyone. Okay, there's the other side of the river. That's six. Um, I'm gonna put one of you on food. We'll make that uh, stable now. And the last one we'll also put on food, I think. I'm purposely not building any fishing boats because right now our, our limiting factor is wood. It will flip very fast once we are done building, but um, one, at that point then I can start harvesting fish. Is there any priority to the way that I want, what I want to build next? Market would probably be good because we'll need the market. Houses. Nope, houses would be better. Build another house there. Actually, let's unbuild the one. Um, market would be good because then we can use it to um, to make farms in a little bit. Once these berries are gone, we'll have to start making some farms unless we find some animals. Just queue that up. Hopefully he'll go back and build that after he's done with these. And after he's done with the market, that is. At least a little bit of fish in the river, though. That's good. That'd be useful in a little while. I want to explore back here first. See what we what we're building back against. Ooh, animals. Elephants are good, as you probably remember seeing in some of the previous missions. Um, you have to be careful <laughs> when attacking them. That you hit them with enough villagers to take them down swiftly. But I like the fact there's more berries back here, so we'll we'll build a granary back there and harvest some of those berries. These bolts just for regular elephants. I can't remember if it's if it's in Age of Empires 1 or 2 where you have the bull elephants and they're actually aggressive and they'll attack any unit that wanders past. So that's not always fun. Um, who is next? I think we should probably start working on some of the stone back here. We'll set that up. There's some stone over here too, I see. A little bit. See what else is on this island. Maybe nothing.
Oh, a few gazelle. We could come down there and harvest those, too. And we'll definitely get on the river and harvest some fish. At least a couple... A couple guys. I think I will move this guy... Onto wood. This guy can come up here and start working on the berries. Up here, build the granary and start working on those berries. Should probably take a couple of these guys as well. Maybe at least put them on the other tree, the other bush. Why don't you go join him? That'll give us eight villagers on food. And here comes our last one for uh, wood cutting. We're going to do this upgrade just so we have the ability. And then we'll make another scout ship here. Another wood cutter here. Oh, maybe you can come up here and cut wood. That way it's not crowded. I need another builder. We gave away our builder. Alright, well, come back this way. Because he's just going to keep dragging you off, and you're not powerful enough yet to not die. If this upgrade finishes, you will be. Yeah, see, look how much damage he gave us. Well, he's actually got more attack, too. And that's the end. You stop attacking my villagers. Okay, building. Let's do this one, and then this one. Eight and eight. Did I make too many? I apparently made too many. Well, no, because we need another stone miner anyway. That. Um. Who do I want next? Probably just kind of building. Wood. We need wood. <laughs> you can come over here then. But you're standing around, you as well. Come over here. Stop it. There we go. There we go. Now we have a... Our attack's still not as good. I think I need to do some of these attacks. No. Did we pick him off? I think we did. I think it's the government center. We should build that next. Has the, the upgrade we want. Uh, we can move to the Iron Age, at least in this scenario. So that'll be good. Very good. Four up there. Four just finished right here. Maybe you guys can move on to harvesting elephants. I'll put you close to that um, storage pit and then have you work back toward the elephant. Uh, throwing spears at it. Like this. It may kill one of them. And it just hit one of them once, I think. Oh, it didn't even hit one of them. Completely. Man, they are really, really luring. Tempting to really, really lure us. Is that attack power? No, that's range. That's the problem. We need more range. Okay, let's do the government center to get that range. Be here. Wow. Yeah, they have the same attack power. Oh, because they've upgraded already. That's why. We definitely need the government center. Need to get that range upgrade. Whatever that's called that I don't remember. And we definitely need more wood.
I hope you guys aren't able to hear that when my when I talk into my mic, but um, someone is mowing or running some sort of machinery uh, nearby me. Uh, no, it's not here either. What am I thinking of? Oh no, you don't. It's killing my. They're killing my villagers. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe we need to do the age up update to the new age first. I think they killed three food harvesters. Dang. We'll do that, and then hopefully we'll get to the uh, next age upgrade after that. I would like to build some towers. What happened to the Axeman? I have no idea what happened to it. He's not out here harassing anybody else. Now we're just trading shots. But I think the upgrade we need is in the next age. So we'll get this done as soon as possible. No hits. Awesome. Okay. Well, the uh, stone is gone from there, but there's one over here. Let's get that going. Two more of these guys. Almost have enough food. Yeah, see, he's just got a little bit more range than us here. Two extra range, and that makes a huge difference. Okay. And stand ground. I'll do that after the age upgrade has started. Did we harvest that thing already? No, it's just not. Let me click it. Okay. Yeah. Good. We can probably go harvest those gazelle, too more houses. Okay. I will. Do three more. Ooh, we can start this. No, we can't. We need another Bronze Age building. Which means this or these two probably do this first. I will make you build the temple first so we can get this thing moving. Go ahead and do that then. Giant stake he's carrying, of course. Two on one is always good odds. All right, hurry up. Take out the war galley so we can take out the light transport. You're next, my friend. Stop getting stuck on corners. Oh boy, they're going to do the same thing they did a few minutes ago. Where did they go? 
There they are. Oh boy. This upgrade started. Yep, there's killing all my villagers again. No, no, you don't. Get off the coast so they can't hit you. Well, the archers can, but. Lost one composite bowman. And we lost one ship there. Okay, now I want you to come back here. And I think this is a good place to pause the episode. And hopefully next time we will have some better luck and some better defenses and some better offenses. So thank you all for joining me. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.